Veronica, hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm just fine, just fine. What about you? Um, I'm fine too. At home. How was your day? Um, um, good. I I was in the office. Uh, at the office, at the office. At the office. Uh huh. And I was a playing. Sería aplicando. Applying. Applying a test to 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 athletes. And then I I was a. Writing a report about these results. 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 Okay. Uh, and I was in a meeting with my with my boss in my team at the office. Okay. Excellent. So you were busy. Um, yes. <laughs> Yeah, well, it's nice when we have a productive day, right? Yes, and now is is not com complicado. Complex. Uh -huh. uh, yes. Um. Ah, uh, before it is. Before, yes, now is is fácil, más fácil. It's easier. Easier, okay. Well, that's nice. Good to know. Hello. It's great to know. Great to know. As well as hello, I mean that. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Well, my dear, welcome to the class. Okay, thank you. No, thanks to you. Thanks to you, Veronica. It's always a pleasure. Let's see. Luis Antonio Abrego. Oh, perhaps a little bit. Hello, busy. teacher. Good evening, Hello. Teacher. Okay, no problem. No problem. We'll talk later. Okay, let's see, let's see. Luis Antonio is busy, ocupadito, no problem. But there's Gabriel. Hello, Gabriel, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. <coughs> Good evening. How are you doing? Doing better? Yeah, mejor? Um... But where, where? Getting better. Getting better, getting better. Getting better. That's correct. Yes, that's correct. Uh, um, that's nice. That's nice. Like in the medicine to get better, tomándome la medicina. Ahí para. Okay. Ahí vamos. I know you're going to do good. Sabemos que le va a ir bien. Don't worry, don't worry. Yes. Yeah, you know, you got to be patient and <clears throat> take care of yourself. Like with us. Yeah. You got to take care of yourself. It's nice to have you here, Mr. Welcome. Okay, thank you. Oh, thanks to you. Okay, let's see, let's see. Who else is around? <laughs> Yvette, hello Yvette, how are you? Hello. 
Hello, teacher. How are you? How are you? I'm just fine, just fine. I'm fine. Excellent, so fine. glad to hear it. Mm. And tell me, how was your day? Oh, sleeping. Um, a lot of work in 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 the in the office. Um, um, uh, ¿cómo se dice? Estuve revisando muchos documentos. I was checking. Oh, okay. Checking I and was a lot of documents. Okay, a lot of documents. Mm, document, document. Okay, documents. I check. Document. Document. Okay. Like that. Perfect. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> check, check in emails. Um, uh, my proceso de compra. Uh -huh. uh, um, purchase processes. Sorry? Repeat purchase process. Uh, purchase process. Okay. And in, in difficult. Um, what do you say? Remember? In in work um como avanzando advancing advancing in um project uh Execution of uh, uh, presupuesto uh, budget 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 okay uh, okay. only only a sleeping <laughs> okay, and yesterday. Okay. Um, eh, is re, is reuniones, es conference. Meetings. Meetings. Oh, is ten, ten o'clock. Eh, como digo, hasta la diez, casi hasta la diez. Until ten. Okay. Until. 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 Um, too. Okay. Yes. So, so, um, sorry for yesterday. Oh, yeah. No problem. No problem. Actually, I was checking that. I think we are, we are still in. We are still in. We are still doing okay. Okay, teacher. Thank you. No, no, no. Thanks to you for your effort. I know it's not easy. Okay, today running for really? for yes. <clears throat> Hoy salí corriendo. Oh, really? Why? Yeah. ¿Por qué? Tell me. Ah, para para llegar a tiempo. <laughs> oh, really? To make it on time. Yeah, okay. To make it on time. To make it. On time. Eso es to para llegar a tiempo. It on time. Yeah, to make it on time. To make it, uh, to make to make it, it. on time. Okay, to yeah. make it on time. Okay, yeah, I know, I know it's, it's not always easy, right? <laughs> it's not always easy, but it's good to have you here. Welcome. Oh, thank you, teacher. No, thanks to you. Appreciate it. 
Okay, let's see who else is around. Mailing, <laughs> Mailing, tell me, how's your microphone? Still fighting with it? Hello, teacher. Can you hear me? Yeah, a little bit better. Hello, okay. how are you? I'm fine. Today, oh. I did nothing. I work. Say what? You did nothing? <laughs> no. It's okay. very relaxed because today uh, making uh, how do you say oh the closing the closing of the month yeah that's the closing uh, then uh, in my group uh, who are they don't use factor one of Cuba because um, uh, I I okay well that's cool excellent so glad for you nice to have you here welcome thank you no, thanks to you, thanks to you. Okay, guys, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Give me just a second. Okay. I was going to talk to Ingrid, but she is eating, so I'm not talking to Ingrid right now. We're going to talk to her later. Let's see. Antonio, hello, Antonio. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. I'm tired, but, but I'm fine. Okay. How was the day? Uh, always, always a lot of work. Today I, I had to work overtime. Oh, really? You have to to get overtime yes. today? Okay. Yes. More money, more money. Yes. I had to work uh, 15 to 6 p.m. Ouch. Yeah, that's a little bit late. Yes, teacher. But what, what can we do, teacher? Yeah, I mean, that's the nature of the job. As you know, the less el trabajo, I mean. Some yes. days are easier, some days are hard, and and you know, uh, Let me see. Sometimes I mean, sometimes we need to do a little bit extra, and and it's coming December. Tell me, how's December? How's the period of November and December in your company? Heavy work or it easier? Okay, teacher. Uh, sometimes we have a, a lot of work, but some sometimes is is not not work. But mm, según, how do you say según? It depends. Okay, it depends the the planification or the planning for between October, November, and October, and December, October, November, and maybe December will will have a lot of work. Because to, today I, I I heard that uh, another co-worker saying that that we have overtime mm. uh, mm -hmm, the the next week maybe 
and and also on Saturday we have maybe maybe we we have to work until until six p.m. And normally we will, on Saturday, we will have you know, we will have we will have and normally we working until fifteen to four. Okay, mm, that's a lot. Yes, yes, but but it's just for for uh, a few departments. Okay, well, we will see. Yes. We will see. Yeah, this is especially for the current department. Okay, well, let's hope everything turns out okay for you because I mean, extra time, overtime is good, but sometimes you need to rest. Yes, teacher. Yes, on the on December, uh, tendremos. We will have. Will be how on vacation. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. Well, thank you, Antonio, and welcome. Thank you to you, teacher. Okay, let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Oscar, hello, how are you? Hi, teacher. How are you, mister? Uh, a little, uh, little sick. The flu. But uh, later, fine. Okay, well, let's hope you get better. Yeah, I'll get better. Okay, okay. And tell me, how was the day for you? Um. A lot of busy, um, a lot of container, um, check it, check, um, check warehouse, the um, inventory, the box. Okay, so very busy. Yeah. Normally yeah. Uh, and when uh, and when we get the flu, it's uncomfortable. And uh, a lot of rain the, the last week uh, this week. Yeah, a lot of rain. It affects it also affects. Yeah. I thank you, God. Yeah, the last uh, rain. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, God. It's not raining no more. Yeah. Okay. Well, welcome to the class, Oscar. Nice having you here. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, guys, give me just one second.
Okay, let's see. Where's Luis Mario Criollo? Hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. Can you hear me? Hello, how are you? Yes, I can hear you perfectly. Yeah. Nice. Super good. I am super good. My day was pretty quiet or easy. Okay. Yeah. And I was uh, training a new co-worker from my area. Um, I really enjoy uh, teach uh, teaching. Okay. So it's very funny to me. But the oh, really? problem, yeah, the problem is that I me retrasé o se me... Oh, really? You got behind? Behind, right. Behind with the other activities. <laughs> but it's, it's the same. Uh, <laughs> always, I have a, a lot of work. Okay. Yeah, I understand. I understand. But that's part of everyday life. I mean, sometimes we get excited with one activity, but we forget that it takes a lot of time and we have different things to do to perform at work right yeah indeed yeah it happens to me it happens to me totally i believe me sometimes i mean i get so excited preparing one activity for one group and then i i forget that i need to prepare material for another class and stuff like that man and it gets crazy sometimes it gets pretty crazy <laughs> yeah but, but it what can we do? I mean, it's, yeah. it's part of everyday activity. Yeah. In, in another life, I think that I could be a, a teacher. I could have been a teacher. I could have been a teacher. Yeah, because I really enjoyed uh, teaching about, some time, uh, about something that I can teach, right? <laughs> For example, my activities of the day, um, of the of my area, and I I really enjoy that. Oh well, that's nice. I mean, it's great that you can that you have the opportunity to 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 do the stuff you like, you enjoy doing. Yeah, yeah, it's the part of my my activities. Yeah, because I mean, uh, sometimes, sometimes we get stuck with uh, some work that we don't really like, uh, or perhaps that it's part of our job, but it's not something that we like uh, feel comfortable or relaxed doing. I mean, that happens to me with uh, well. This coming month, November, uh, I also work for a public school, you know, and every day uh, in November, I mostly get paperwork and training and, and training is okay. I mean, it, it's, a, it's a tool for improving, but paperwork, man, it's so stressful and I need to do a lot of stuff and I need to get a lot of info and you know, my thing is teaching. So as you say, I enjoy talking to the people and doing different activities and stuff. But November for me, like the last part of November is sitting in front of a computer working all day long, just getting info into it. And yeah. it's, for me, it's terrible. I really, I really understand you because my father is a teacher. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what it's like. Yeah. And sometimes I must help him. <laughs> yeah. So I really understand you. Okay, the, now you under the, you understand with the system and everything. Yeah, with the nota seria um, grades. Grades, yeah. Oh. The entry, the grades. Yeah, I'll tell you on something. The, in in my place, I am the only one 
who who digits the grades for the whole school. Okay. I get them for everybody, all the students, all the subjects. Wow. It's a, a, all, a lot of a lot of students. Yeah, and the attendance also. And it's complex. So for me, yeah. that's stressful. Yeah. Yeah. Well, with Mario, interesting talking to you. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you to you. Ah, let's see. Let's see who else is around. Uh, 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 uh. Let's see, Veronica. No, I talked to Veronica. Veronica was the first. He was very early. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. <laughs> Salvador Alexander Lopez. Hello, good evening. How are you? Hello, teacher. I am I am fine. Okay, and tell me, how's everything? Um I am I am rest in my um, at home. I am I I had I have been on vacation uh, from from Thursday in the last week until um, Thursday the the this week of the week. Oh really? Yes, um, I am on vacation. Is, um, in, in my company, the, the vacation is um, 10, 10 days. 10 days. 10 days. And 10 days in, in the years. Um, um, and could be um, in, could be on cualquier mes mm. could be any month uh, yeah what could be any month and yeah yeah i i've been on vacation and i i have i have been rest and i have i have i have watched tv and and I I have spent time with my family. Okay, so you've been busy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, until in until on vacation, uh, there are many things. Uh, uh, que, que podemos hacer? That we can do. That we can, uh, yeah, that we can do. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Welcome. Okay, okay thank you. Guys, too. let me get the attendance, please. Uh, Carlos Elivaldo Abrego Marmol. Is there uh, Edwin Alberto Rodriguez Lobo? Not here. Gabriel Beltran Perez. Present teacher. Thank you. Yeah. And let's see. Thank you, Carlos. Uh, Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Present, teacher. Thank you, Ingrid. Good night. Good evening. <laughs> Good e Come on, Ingrid. Good night. He's saying bye. Come on. What's wrong? Sorry, teacher. Uh -huh. Good evening. Sorry. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Ivan Petrovich Guzman Aquino. Present. Good evening. Good evening, Ivan. Welcome. Ivania Shamile Dominguez Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you. Ivette Lisette Figueroa de Calle. Present teacher. Carla Lisette García Lemos. Present teacher. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Luis Mario Criollo Guerrero. Present teacher. Thank you. Ms. Mario. Okay. Uh, Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. Present teacher. Okay. You sound like if you are in the street, Magdaleno. Let's see. Maylin, Janet, <laughs> Manzano, Montoya. Yeah. yeah. I can hear. I can hear. 
Thank you, Maylin. Nelson Antonio Rodas Rosales. Present, teacher. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Present, teacher. Rosalina Alvarado. Salvador Alexander López García. Thank you, Rosalina. Present, teacher. Salvador Emilio de León Fuentes. Present, present. Thank you, Salvador. Appreciate it. Verónica Arelia Shala Ramirez. Present. Verónica, you got dark. Very dark. Okay, will Pedro Areval Ortiz? Present, teacher. Good night. Good evening. Good evening. Come on, will Pedro. You know, it's Ingrid's fault. She's getting like that. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome. Tiamara Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. Present, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, guys, let's see. Let's see who else is around so we can talk. Ivan, you got your microphone open. Hello, Ivan. How's everything? Uh, good, good evening, teacher. I am good. I am okay, good. that's nice. That's nice. So, how was the day? What did you do? Okay, today as a, a little busy in my in my company. Oh really? Yes, yes. I I come down. I come down oh. transfers. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Is is is. How sería este? How do you say? Um, parte de mis actividades. It's part of my activities. It's part of the activity. Thank you. Well, teacher. it's part of my obligations. So imagine that those are your obligations, right? It's part of your obligation. It's part of my obligations. In no obligation? Just activities. Okay. Interesting. I don't. Yeah, remember that your obligations are the ones that I mean they are written on the on the in the contract. But we always do something else. I mean, we always do a little bit more, right? Okay, right. I got it. Okay, so been busy all day. Yeah, in the, the only in the morning. In the afternoon, um, relax. Okay, well, oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. That's um, nice. Well, so glad yeah. to hear that you could relax a little bit. I mean, it's good. It's good. I mean, sometimes, yeah, sometimes it's like that, that sometimes we have a, a part of the day is very heavy and the rest of the day is like more relaxing. Sometimes the whole day is terrible. And I mean, it's different, right? Yes, yeah, simple, simple. Uh, la experiencia ayuda. <laughs> experience. Yeah, yes. of course. The experience is always helpful. Uh, I help. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. No. Nice to hear it. Welcome to the class, Ivan. Nice having you here. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Hey, Zimara. How are you? No, thanks to you, Ivan. Yamara, where are you? Uh, I'm like hello. looking like this. Oh. Hello, how are you? Excellent. Good. Excellent. Ooh, I like that. Whenever you say excellent, it's good news for me. So, how was your day? A good day at work? Yes, teacher. Today it was a good day. Oh, that's nice. So glad to hear it. And because I I do my activities I did. on time, I did my activities on time, and at the end of the day, I rest a little bit time. Oh, that's nice. Yes. Oh, you're working from home? No, no, no. You go to the office? Yes. Uh, well, what can we do, my dear? What do we do? 
Yeah, but you know, I'm I am listening many of your classmates telling me that part of the day has not been that terrible. That's nice. I mean, actually, those are good news because sometimes we have a stressful day all day and all day or and, all week. <laughs> yeah. And no, but the situation is this that then you have class here and everything, and I mean it's like people is like very tired. And usually right now we are in the middle of the week. Usually the middle of the week, everybody's like very stressed. Very stressed. Yes. Well, nice to hear that your day was a little bit different. Welcome to the class, miss. Thank you, Michelle. Well, thanks to you. Okay, guys, let's see, let's see. Well, welcome all of you. I know that I didn't have the time to talk to all of you. There's Rosalina, there's uh, Carlos Abrego, Salvador de Leo, Magdaleno, Ingrid, and I mean, we have uh, some activities to perform. Uh, by the way, guys, I just received one homework, just one homework. Come on, guys. Do you remember the homework you were supposed to do? ¿Se acuerdan de la tarea? If you remember yesterday, uh, let me see, let me see. Yesterday you were assigned the exercise six. You have to write a seven line paragraph about the activities you are doing these days using present progressive. Do you remember? Please, if you can send it to me tomorrow, I will be very grateful. Si no me pudieron hacer la tarea para ahora, por favor, me envían para mañana porque solo una tarea recibí. And I mean, I explained it to you. And it's it's good for you because I can check your writing and I can help you with your writing, okay? Um, like the one that I have, uh, my computer doesn't work well. Or isn't working well, isn't working. Well, we will talk about the corrections at the end of the class. No problem, no problem. But please remember, you need to send me that homework. It's good for you guys, it's good for you. Now, let's see. Uh, the next activity. Well, we got a lot of activities, but the first one, it's um okay. I got a question for you. Okay, and the question is uh okay, there's going to be a chance for promotion in your company. Okay, there's going to be the chance for a promotion in your company, and there are three persons that are being taken into account. I mean, that we are looking to, so they can apply for that promotion, okay? So right now I will give you, I'll send you to the groups. You need to tell your classmates why you are a good candidate for the promotion, okay? You need to tell your classmates why you think you are a good candidate for a promotion. Me van a, le van a contar a sus compañeros por qué usted es un buen candidato para obtener uh, promotion, ascenso, in your company. Okay? That's what you are going to explain. You are going to have five minutes, five minutes, better? So you can talk with your classmates and explain. Then um, when we come back, I will ask some of you directly. And you will need to tell me, to tell the group, the class, okay? So let me check the groups. Okay, groups are created. Five minutes. Hurry up.
No, ladies. Hello. 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 Okay. Hello. Did you do the exercise? Teacher, le quería preguntar cuál era la tarea. La tarea de ayer. Mm. La tarea de ayer, si usted ve ahí en el grupo, yo les puse. Eh, la que dice, eh, después de un mensaje que dice an email, les aparece writing. Write a seven line paragraph about the activities you are doing these days. Use present progressive. Ahorita se los marqué de nuevo. Okay. okay. Ah, okay. That's the homework that you left me like okay, waiting for you. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's you know, it's a uh, mailing spot. Okay. Well, guys, it's almost time. We will see each other in the, in the main room. Oh, look, Maylin is sending her, her part. <laughs> I have been in the company for almost two years and based on the experience in the skills acquired, oh my gosh. Let me see, I should have a promotion. Mm -hmm. Okay, she's telling that the, the time and the experience and the skills. It's interesting, yeah. You make a good, a good point. We will see, we will see. I'll see you in the main room, okay? Sixty seconds, guys, sixty seconds. There's Shimara. We are just waiting for everybody, Shimara. We're well, esperando for the rest, okay? Okay, let's see. There's Ingrid, there's Mario, oh, Gabriel. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Ingrid, hello. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good, good evening. Good evening, Ingrid. Tell me, why should I take you into consideration for an uh, uh, for a new position, for a promotion? Tell me. Um, I think the the employees um, have have been. No, but I'm talking about you. You, why you are good for a promotion? Ah, uh, but promotion is similar the topic yesterday. Yes. Le estoy preguntando por qué cree usted de que usted es una buena opción para un ascenso. Ah, ah. I think the um, very responsibly. Uh -huh. I am responsibly. I am responsible. Responsible. I am 
efficient and eff efficient. Eff efficient. Um, um, I, <laughs> I, I don't remember all other. Um, and, and I had a, a more ideas, I, more ideas, but, uh, mm, but more ideas, but doing for work. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good ideas for the company, you mean? Yes, I think is como se dice, proactivo. Oh, proactive. Uh -huh. I am proactive in my company. Okay, interesting, interesting. Yeah, yeah, but you know what? I think that instead of promoting you, I am going to demote you. But I think the the when employees have more time in the company, it's necessary one change. But it's difficult okay. uh, change the work but it's difficult but it's necessary same same people or whatever people or whatever work but it's necessary okay interesting mm -hmm. interesting mm -hmm. thank you You're okay welcome. yeah the, the other option is to demote you la otra opción es to demote the most is the opposite promotion is up the motion is down uh -huh. i'm kidding i'm kidding thank okay. you Ingrid. Thank you, teacher. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, 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 um. <laughs> okay. Ivania, tell me, why are you a good option for a promotion? Why should I take you into consideration for a promotion? Hello, um my consideration is effective Active, so okay. the efficient 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 um, is is honest okay honest that's and very important and honest and responsible oh. Okay, that's, that's nice, that's nice. Good to know, good to know. Thank you very much. Okay, let's see, let's see. What's your situation? What's expose yourself? Uh Carla, Carla, tell me, what about you? What are those qualities that make you a good candidate for a promotion? Perhaps Carla is not available. Responsibility. Oh, okay. Responsible. Responsible. Uh, honesty. Honesty. Okay. You are a responsible and an honest person. Yes. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Thank you. Veronica, what about you? Tell me, what are those qualities that make you a good option for a promotion in the company? Mm, I am a good, a good uh, candidate for okay. the promotion because I have a lot of experience in my current job and I am quality, uh, responsible, punctuality. Uh, okay, punctual. Mm. Mm, I, I can ability with orthography, uh, waiting, and only that. Okay, well, many, many abilities. Ivan, what about you? Tell me, Ivan. Okay, um, in my case, it's, uh, uh, for example, prepare mom, most the end report on time. Um, any 
a good attitude towards our problems, others, other points. Um, and then the efficient and responsible, the activity. Only that. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Excellent, good, good uh, qualities. And I just have one more chance for one more. Let's see, Tiamara, tell me, what about yourself? In my case, because I'm considered an, an efficient person, responsible, pro proactive, uh -huh. Honestly, <clears throat> and with experience. Okay. Wow, many qualities. Many good qualities. That's excellent. Thank you very much. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Next activity. Okay, now we are going to go to the manual, guys. We have a, a very interesting situation, let's say, okay, about uh, one employee from one company. First, we are going to, 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 to read an employee's performance report, okay? Let me share with you. Okay. We have to read the employee's performance report. Then we are going to discuss with a partner who is the best candidate to be promoted. So we have employee's performance report. We got uh, Raul Perez and Karen Solan. Okay, we got two candidates, two, two different reports, two different employees. And we will see what the reports, what the superiors there have written about them. So, the employee chose commitment to work. Yes, it's always punctual. Mm, not always. Does not violate rules. Okay, follows indications, likes to work in group, focus on his responsibilities. Excellent. Complete the work assigned. Okay, is a leader. Mm. Communicate ideas. Yes, is proactive. Uh, is collaborative. Mm, yes. Has a positive attitude? Yes. Observations. He usually comes late. He already has two warnings for coming late to work, but he signed up a commitment letter. He doesn't have leadership skills and he's not a proactive person. Then we have Karen. Let's see Karen. Shows commitment? Yes. Is always punctual? Yes. Does not violate rules? Mm, look, she sometimes violates rules. Follows indications, yes, likes to work in group, focus on his responsibility. She's got everything, but look, she doesn't have a positive attitude. So this is a very uh, different profile as we can see. It's very interesting. Now guys, what are you going to do? You're going to discuss who is the best candidate to be promoted. And after you discuss, uh, you're going to support your answers. You're going to tell me, okay, I think or we think Mr. Perez should be promoted because, and then you're going to explain, or you will say at a group, we think Ms. Solano should be promoted because, and then you tell me. So as a group, you're going to get together, you're going to discuss, and you're going to get one idea per group, okay? And you're going to support it. Van a explicar por qué, okay? Van a dar fundamentos. Why do you think that person should be promoted? You got the two candidates, okay? I'm going to send you the screenshot so you can work in the groups. Let me send you to the groups for this activity. It's a discussion. You need to analyze everything. For this activity, we are going to have 10 minutes. And you know what? Uh, yeah. I'm going to send you right about now.
Let me just check on something. Okay. Please jump in, 10 minutes, starting now. Magdaleno, what happened to you? What do you, Magdalena? The signal, the signal, get out me. Okay, uh, kick me out, I'll kick you out from the group. Okay, I'll, I'll send you to a group right now. Okay, people got the material. Let's go check on the groups. Actually, eventually, we can start. But she is. Ah, que algunas veces viola las reglas. También tiene obtiene algunas veces su actitud positiva. Pero tiene habilidad de uh, liderazgo. Leader, leadership skill. Uh, tiene uh, skill de leadership. I think they should be promoting uh, Karen Pare. Solano. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'm agree with you. What do you well, think? I don't, I, I don't like Karen. No. No. I don't like her. Okay, yeah. I think that I think that People who have leadership abilities is um, is people who can uh, apply for a promotion. In my opinion. your opinion, opinion, because because other people in in the promo, um, yeah, is that who people you need people who lead other people. This is the, um, the the people that you need for a promotion. Okay, that's right. Mm. Uh, 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 then and then uh, should be promoting white Raúl Who? Perez or Karen Solano. Who? King. Who? Who? Uh, excuse me. Who? Who promotion? Who do you promote? Well, according to that, uh, I guess you're going to go for Karen, right? Right, Karen is a good, uh, good performance. Yeah. yeah, and perhaps, I mean, with your training, you can have that problem that she doesn't, sometimes she violates rules. Yes, yeah, you're, you're usually. Uh -huh. Yeah, you need. She's a... usually. She is usually uh, uh, no como es respet respetar
Hello, teacher. Hello, mister. So, you finish? Uh, yeah, I think. Okay, who are you going to promote, guy? Karen Solano. Okay, would you mind explaining why? Yeah, the most important uh, quality to be promote is to me, right? Uh, is uh, be a leader, be a proactive, and uh, focus on his responsibilities. So okay. uh, he has uh, that qualities she has those qualities those those qualities yeah all the uh all the know have a good attitude but when we receive a, a promote generally a or attitude a change right yeah, so, and also some some companies prepare like a, they have like a special training, right? Yeah, yeah, it's part of the promote. Yeah, to get so, a special training on on leadership, actually. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and, and versus Raúl Pérez, he don't have a. He doesn't. He doesn't have. Sorry, he doesn't have a quality to be a, a leader, for example, and the impuntuality, in, how do you say impuntuality? Yeah? He's not punctual. It's, he is not punctual. Yeah, that's, that's a big problem. That, that is important. Yeah. Yeah, of course, of course. In a leader, I mean, it's, it's a big problem if if the boss, if the if the if the team manager is not on time, it's a big problem. Yeah. Yeah, for, for mean, the example, right? For yeah. The, yeah, for the example. Yeah, to, to live to, to live with a good example. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. So I think Karen Solano should be promoted. Okay, well, we will discuss it in the main room. In Perfect. one minute. Nice. Fifty seconds, guys.
sorry guys, sorry guys, a little circumstance here, but I, I am, I'm here, I'm here, I'm sorry. My apologies. Okay, let me get the attendance. Carlos Elivaldo Abrego Marmol. And Edwin Alberto Rodriguez Lobo. Thank you, Carlos. Gabriel Beltran Perez. Present teacher. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Present teacher. No pasa nada. Okay. Ivan Petrovich Guzman Aquino. Present. Ivania Chamilet Domínguez Hernández. Present teacher. Yvette Lisset Figueroa de Calles. Present teacher. Carla Lisset García Lemos. Present teacher. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present teacher. Luis Mario Criollo Guerrero. Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. Present teacher. Maylin Janet Manzano Montoya. Present. Nelson Antonio Rodas Rosales. Present teacher. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Present teacher. Rosalina Alvarado. Salvador Alexander López García. Present teacher. Salvador Emilio de León Fuentes. Present, present. Verónica Arelia Chala Ramírez. Present. Wilfredo Areval Ortiz. Present. Chimara Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. Present. Carlos Josué Chávez. Okay, let's see, let's see. Luis Mario, tell me who is your candidate and tell me why, explain to me why. Yeah, my candidate is Karen Solano. Okay. All the, the not have a good attitude, but he's a leader and proactive and that is important. Okay, uh, even, usually, yeah. Yeah, sorry. Usually, when someone receive a promo, his or her attitude uh, change to positive. Okay. Interesting. Thank you very much. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Antonio, what's your opinion? Okay, teacher. I was working with Luis Mario. Oh, okay. You got the same idea. Okay, but uh, we talk that that Karen is a is a employee uh, qualified because she she has a positive attitude and and leadership skill. So we believe that that she co she called change the. They are not their attitude. Okay, she could change. Okay. That's interesting. Okay, teacher. Only that. No, well, no, that's okay. That's okay. That's great. Now let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um Veronica, what's your opinion? I don't know, but I think Raul Perez should be promoted because he only doesn't have leadership. Uh, but Karen uh, usually conflates. She don't does by violent the rules, and okay. she doesn't have a positive attitude. Violate the rules. 
Okay, well, that's interesting, uh, a very interesting point of view. Thank you very much. And let's see, Magdalena, what about you? What you got for me? Oops, I think Magdalena is not available. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yes, teacher, I am here. Okay, so sorry. Okay, tell me, tell me, tell me, talk to me. Okay, in my opinion, um, in my opinion, is uh, caring. Uh huh. Why? Because. Okay, could you hear me? Yes, I do. Hello. Yes, 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 yes. Perdimos la señal. No, 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 no. We can hear you. We can hear you. Okay, I love. Okay, now I think we are losing. My signal. Yeah, no problem, Madalena. No problem. No. no problem. No problem. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. Now. Uh, let's see. Now we go to conversation and let's see. Veronica, tell me. Are you a, are you a happy employee or are you an angry employee? I am perhaps, perhaps not. Perhaps not angry. Serious. You are a smiley person and everything. Are mm. you smiley, or are you serious? Mm. Some sometimes serious and sometimes I, I'm happy. Uh, in days of stress, a little serious. Okay, it depends on the day. Mm -hmm. Okay, no, no, I mean, that's that's normal, that happens. Like in my case, I am a, I am a serious person. Mm -hmm. I mean, I just get to smile whenever I'm teaching, but if in regular, in a regular day, I am very serious. I just smile when I'm teaching. Otherwise, I'm serious all the time. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Now, uh, what about you, Ivania? Are you a serious person in your job or are you a smiley person? Ivania, hello. Okay, Yvette, what about you? Hello. What teacher. type of employee are you? Um, I think Miss Solano. No, 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 no. I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's a different question. The question is this. Let me text the question. Okay. Are you a serious person in your job? Yeah, yes. <laughs> yes, I am. Yes, I am, okay. Okay, so you are not smiling all the time. Um, some, sometimes, um, sometimes, yes. Okay, well, that's <laughs> interesting. Now, guys, let me, let me tell you a little bit why I am, uh, what I was asking this type of questions. Okay, let's see. We thought we go to the board, okay? Now, do you remember that yesterday we were talking about, we were working with uh, the verb be, right? 
And now we are going to continue working, but yes, no questions. Okay, this is very simple. Yes, no questions are the ones that are answered with yes, I am, or no, I'm not. Like, are you, are you in class? And then you come and you answer. Then you come and you answer. Uh, yes, I am. But that's when it's affirmative. And these are a yes, no question because you can answer this question just with a simple yes or no. That's it, that's all that you need. You can answer yes, I am, or you can either answer no. No, I'm not. Simple, right? Sometimes I ask you this, am I, Am I clear? And you answer to me. Yes, you are. Or sometimes you answer. No. Oops. No karma. You are not. Remember, when we are talking about just no questions are the questions that we can answer with that. Yes or a no. But remember that in English, we don't simply say yes. If it, if with the verb be, we say, yes, I am. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, you're not. And so forth, so on. Like, uh, is he, is he a good worker? And you answer, oh, yes, he is, right? You answer, yes, he is. Or you can say, no, he isn't, right? Am I forgetting a comma here? Now, this is when we are talking, these are just no questions, but Remember, in this case, we are talking about the verb be, right? Now, something that we need to remember is, guys, the fact that we don't just have the verb be, because we have also yes, no questions, we have yes, no questions. But in this case, we're talking about uh, regular verbs, okay? Verb of commands. That will be a regular and irregular verbs. Now, in this case, if you remember, it's a question that starts with either do or does, right? We're talking about questions that start with do or does. Now, what examples can we have of these questions? Okay, an example will be, do you like, uh, do you like English? And remember, whenever we have a question with do you, you answer, Oops, sorry, always the comma. Yes, I do. If it's negative.
no I don't and remember that the auxiliary is just do or does so remember that does she does she play the piano that would be a question right and if she plays the piano you answer it oh Yes, she does. Or if it's negative, no, she doesn't. Let's not forget the little comma right there. And there you go. These are just no questions. Remember. Yes, no questions are exactly these, the ones that you can answer with either yes or no. As simple as that. Do you have questions, guys? Yes, teacher. teacher. Yes, oh. yes, yes. You first. I'm first. Okay, let's, okay. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Oh, Magdalena is parking. Who else ha had a question? ¿Quién más tenía una pregunta? Teacher, my, my, my question is, uh, I don't remember uh, different and very regular and very irregular. Okay, no. The difference here is, uh, the difference here is simple, that when you talk about regular and irregular verbs, the difference you're going to see, it, <laughs> let's see, tomorrow, yeah in tomorrow's class. I'm sorry, Ivan, it's just that I want to explain it to you, but actually let me check. No, no, no tomorrow. Okay. But in este caso les aclaro, puse regulares e irregulares para que entendamos de que son todos los otros verbos, que la excepción es el verbo ser o estar. Okay. Los verbos regulares y los verbos irregulares, realmente la diferencia en ellos se denota cuando nosotros estamos hablando del pasado. En el pasado lo utilizamos. En el pasado y en los tiempos perfectos. Es cuando utilizamos el... Diferenciamos los regulares y los irregulares, siendo los regulares aquellos verbos que para formar su pasado simplemente agregan la partícula ed al verbo, al final del verbo, Y los irregulares son aquellos que para expresar su pasado o su pasado participio tienen una forma propia, cada uno. That's the difference, Ivan. Like regular, play. In present, play, play. Irregular, uh, go. A present, went. In past, gone. In past participle. Okay, Ivan? Mm -hmm. Okay, I got it. In this case, uh, what I'm making the difference is, is is between the verb be and the other verbs. Acá lo que estoy haciendo es la diferencia entre el verbo ser estar y los otros verbos. Okay, uh, okay, I got it. Thank you, teacher. Uh, in my question, is, other question is a uh, uh, user was is a is a past. Uh, I are on the yes. Um uh, Eh, cuando se hace la pregunta, I, eh, I, was I late, for example? What else, what else is the uh, answer? Yes, you were. Or no, you weren't. If I were. Okay. Yeah, remember that in this case, in this moment, I am explaining to you present. Okay, up to this moment, I have explained to you present. Ahorita lo que les he explicado es el presente. Como okay. just no questions, en presente, okay? Okay. Yes, who else had a question? ¿Qué más tenía pregunta? Magdalena, you had a question, I remember.
Okay, now guys, now we are going to the other part of the activity that is the, the of the explanation. That is, yes, no questions, but for the simple past tense. Okay, ahora sí vamos al pasado. Okay, we have this here. Now, let's remember that this is simple present. Okay. Remember, this is simple present tense, right? All this is the simple present tense. But remember that when we are speaking, we also speak in other tense, like sometimes we need to express ourselves using the simple past tense, el pasado simple. Now, for the simple past tense, we are still talking about yes, no questions, okay? Seguimos hablando de las yes, no questions. We are going to divide here so we can have this set and ready. Okay, now. With the verb be, you remember that the verb be is was or were, what? Uh, Ivan was telling us, lo que nos mencionaba Ivan, right? So we got, instead of being, are you in class? Were you in, in class? That's the simple question, right? And the answer will be, la respuesta sería, Yes, I was. Or no, I was. Am I clear? Was I clear? Muy claro. And the answer. Yes, you were, or no, you weren't. You see, very simple. Is he a good worker? Look. Was he a good worker? Yes, he was. Or no, he was. Questions? Preguntas? Okay, teacher. In this case, yes. you are you are explaining about yes or no question, yes. right? Okay. And if in a conversation, um, I answer, for example, the question is. Uh, do you like do you like pizza for example mm -hmm. um, yes or no question is only yes yes i do or no i don't is right exactly if i uh, if i if i reply 
Uh, yes, I love that. Is grammarly correct or no? Yes, it is. But it's not yes or no question, is right? Yes, it is. <laughs> okay, now let me let me explain to you just for a second. Okay. okay. Grammarly correct will be do you like pizza? Yes, I do. Yes, comma, I do. Period. I love pizza. No, I don't. I hate pizza. But actually, when we are speaking, you say, oh, yes, I do. Yes, I love it. Right? But the grammarly correct is, yes, I do. I love pizza. No, I don't. I hate pizza. Okay? Hey, Magdaleno, did you like the class? If I ask you, you tell me, oh, yes, I did. But if uh, if Veronica asks you, you say, oh, no, I didn't. I didn't understand nothing. You see? So, grammarly, you need full answers. I mean, complete structure. But remember, colloquially, when we are speaking, things tend to change. It's like, uh, I mean, grammarly, when you are writing, you are not supposed to use uh, contraction. But yeah. here I am teaching you contractions. Why? Because I am, teach I am also teaching you how to speak it. Yeah. So it, uh, it depends on the situation. Mostly it depends on the situation. Like imagine that uh, you work in a church. You have uh, somebody from another country that is going to donate money for you. And that yeah. person comes and asks you, hey, uh, excuse me, Magdaleno, do you promise you are going to make good use of all the, all the Offer. money that we are going to provide to your church? You say, oh, yes, I do. I will make the best for the kids we are working with. Yeah. We're not going to tell those people, yes, I'll do it. It's not, I mean, the situation calls for a formal and well-structured answer, right? Right. What about if I ask you, hey, Magdaleno, uh, do you want to go with me to play soccer? Yeah, you can tell me. Yeah, let's go. You see, simple, right? It's more informal. So depending on the situation, you're going to use poly structures or you are going to use something more simple. Yeah, I un I, I got you. Okay, and okay. and in this case, when for example, when I am preaching or speaking in a meeting, I have to speak with all sentences and when well, I... that that depends that depends and if you allow me to 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 clarify something it's it depends on the message you are giving because yeah. if you are a preacher you know that whenever you are talking in front of a public the situation sometimes changes because sometimes you need people to feel more comfortable. You need people to feel like if you are closer to them, that you are not, I mean, when you are preaching connect. and giving that type of connect. message, you connect to the people, but by not positioning yourself above them. You mm -hmm. go to the level of the people. If you remember that, that guy that used to go walking around and talking to people called Jesus, he used to talk to the people in a way people could understand and relate, right? Yeah, right. So sometimes when we are preaching, depending on the message or the situation, you talk to the people like in, in a more uh, in a more like we are in the same level, we are in the same stuff. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's not necessary to be very formal, but some churches are pretty formal, pretty strict. 
And the people who attend those churches want their preachers to be formal. That's yeah. different, right? So yeah, it depends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, uh, uh, I mean, if you anytime have the opportunity to visit, uh, oh, well, I will make a post because they will kill me for this. It depends on the situation if you're going to go full grammar, perfect grammar, or if you're going to go a little bit more informal. Like in this class, sometimes if you notice, I start speaking like more formal, and sometimes I go like very informal with you. It depends on what I am teaching to you, right? Yeah, yeah, right, uh, I get I, I am telling you right now that the, the correct, the grammarly correct form is full form. But, but it's not the only form. I mean, we speak in a different way. Yes. Thank you, teacher. It's, no problem. It's really important, your explanation for me. Thank you. Okay. Any other question, guys? Now, just to close this topic, solo para cerrar esto. And remember, when we are talking about the simple past tense, with the other verbs, with all the other verbs, we use the auxiliary div. In this case, for the past, the auxiliary is just div. In este caso, para el pasado, el auxiliary solamente es div. Okay? It doesn't change nothing else. Nada más. Div. This is the auxiliary for the past. Okay? So, all the questions. Did you come on time? Viniste a tiempo? And you answer, oh, sure. Yes, I did. Or, no, I didn't. Did he? Remember that when we are talking about the past, it's just did, nothing else, okay? Did he clean his area? And you go like, oh, yes, he did. Whoops. Yes, he did, or no, he didn't. This is very simple, right? Remember, for the past, if you notice in the present, you got do and does. But for the past, it's just did. And this one applies to all the verbs. All the verbs with the exception of the verb be. That's why we got the verb be here apart the explanation but for all the rest of the verbs this is the rule d at the beginning remember these are yes no questions which means questions that you answer with either yes or no simple the only difference remember is that in spanish in spanish in our language when we want to say yes we just say yes right but remember, English is a different language. So in English, when you want to say yes, you say, yes, I did. And when you want to say no, you say, no, I didn't. Remember, it's a different language. You say, oh, no, but it's, it's easier if we say just yes. Of course, it is easier but you are thinking in Spanish. If you are thinking in English and in form, and we are talking now about formal English, yes, I did. No, I didn't. Okay. Question, guys? I like Did it you when you ask me. Yes. Only for remember. Um, in simple present, it's important. 
it's important the third person. Uh, but in simple past, it's not important, right? It doesn't matter. Everything is real. It must matter. Uh, could you repeat this phrase? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah, no important. Okay, thank you, teacher. It's only that the question. It doesn't matter. No es importante. No importa. Okay, now with this phrase, oh, this is out of the topic. Okay, well, before I move on, any other question? I got duda? No? Okay, now let's see. Uh, sometimes, sometimes you will listen or you will find this. Okay, that is not correct, okay? That is horrible. That is terrible. <laughs> Mostly you will find it uh, in songs. In songs it happens, in canciones pasa. There's one song that said, it don't matter to me. It don't matter to me. I don't remember who's the singer. Yeah, but you will find it in poetry. Now, remember something. When you read a book, when you read poetry, or if you read some parts of the Bible, uh, that's poetic language. In those situations, guys, it's different. The rules don't apply the same. La regla no aplica igual. Because it's poetry. And in poetry, sometimes in order to make the, 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 the writing, for it to make sense, they jump over the rules. Ellos se saltan las reglas. That's a whole different story, okay? But, I mean, it's been enough about this. Let's go having conversations, okay? I guess there's no more questions about this. So let's go for a little conversations. Okay, now. Guys, I got a beautiful, a beautiful question for you. I know that we are going to enjoy discussing about this. What do you think is the best age to be? Explain your opinion. What do you think is the best age to be? Do you think being a kid, being a teenager, being a young adult, like between in your 20s, in your early 20s, being an adult, like after you, in your late 20s, after 25, 26 years, in your 30s, in your 40s, when you retire, what do you think is the best age to be? That's the question, guys. You are just going to have four minutes because I really, really want to discuss this question here with you, okay? So I'm going to send you very fast to the groups and I'm going to record you in three minutes, okay? Just three minutes to discuss. Okay, okay, okay. What is the best age to be? Carla, what is the best age for you? What do you think is the best age to be? ¿Cuál es la mejor edad? ¿Cuál es la edad que más se disfruta? What's your opinion, Gabriel? Um, so 
de Oh, okay, children. Children. okay, as a children, why? Okay. Um, okay. Why do you think that's the best age to be? Tell me, tell me, think about it. Piénselo, porque lo vamos a discutir en el main room, okay? Okay. The children. Uh, we the children, says Carla. Yes, uh, we dance. Uh, no, come on. Uh, we do anything you play. Nothing to worry about. What? Nothing to worry about. Nada de que preocuparse, right? Yes. Sería my children grad, graduate. When, Así when my, my, when my graduate. children get grade, graduate. That's graduate. the best age to be? Es la mejor edad? Eh, 30 age. 38 for, for my son. No, 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 but the question is this. ¿Cuál piensa usted que es la mejor edad? Uh, for me. Yeah. ¿Cuál, ¿Cuál es la mejor edad que podemos tener? ¿Cuál es la edad que disfrutamos más cuando somos chicos, cuando somos adolescentes, cuando ah, somos adultos? Ah, ok. Ok. Um, um, because, um, sería... Um, For me, um, uh, is children or okay. si children um, zero uh, pro como se preocupaciones worries uh, 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 worries. worries worries okay zero worries okay. In, Play, 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 play. <laughs> only play and only having fun. Only, yes. Okay, no, that's okay, that's okay. That's your opinion. What do you think? ¿Qué piensa el resto? Yeah. Okay, teacher. In my case, I think when I when I was a uh, a kid or a young or child, okay. a child. Yes. Yeah, Yes, because when you are a child, you not think not thinking about about problem, about the age, about if you is you another uh, family don't eat in if is six, you don't think another thing only play. You don't worry about nothing. No teacher, only the vision. And but the 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 almost people think maybe when you when you are in the independent independent. Okay. Yes. But for me when I was a child. That was better. Yes, teacher. Okay. Interesting. What about you, Salvador? What do you think? Okay, uh, for me, the best age is from from 15 to 18 because, okay. because the are an obligation. Uh, no responsibilities. No oh. responsibilities. <laughs> it's, it's, when, it's when we fall in love like crazy. And this is the best age uh, when Oh yeah, the, but uh, but falling in love is it's a big uh, it's yes. a big worry. Yes. Yes. Falling in love yeah. like crazy. Yeah, yeah, if not as your mother, I mean, mothers <laughs> worry about that a lot. When we when we happy and and I don't know. Cuando éramos felices y no lo sabíamos. 
Yes. <laughs> for me. For yeah, me, no, the best okay. thing. Yes. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, I mean, okay. it's a whole different story, right? Let's go back to the main room. We are going to discuss there. Okay. Okay, teacher. Carlos, Carlos. Okay, what do you think is the best age to be, Carlos? Hello, teacher. Uh, in, 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 in my opinion, the best age to me is the 20s. Because, okay, because in that age, uh, I have the opportunity to take uh, and to take the better decision to, the, uh, to my future. For my future. For my future. Yes, I think I think that is very important. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. It, it is my opinion, teacher. Okay, interesting, interesting. And Carlos says that for him was the 20th because it's the moment when he had the chance to take the best the best options for his life. Interesting, right? That's that's actually a very interesting point of view, Carlos. I like it. Let's see. Well, but you know, opinions they vary. Let's see. What do you think, Luis Maria? What's your opinion? In your case, what's the best age to be for you? Yeah, the best time to be alive is the the childhood. Because childhood. You can, childhood. Child. Yeah. Because you you can live without you without worries. Your parents paid any bill, any thing that you need. So it's the best time to, to live. No responsibilities. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Ingrid. Hello, Ingrid. Are you around? No, teacher, I am busy. Okay, no problem. Yes, my internet, my internet is very bad. I don't hear in house in my house. Okay, but no problem. It, yes, thank you, teacher. No. Okay, let's see, Antonio. What about you? What do you think? Okay, teacher. I think it's when I when I was a child. Okay, why? Because when you are a child, don't don't see in another thing. Only in a in a place with your with your friends. You don't worry if the another people eat or or they are sick. You don't worry about it. You don't worry about nothing. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. What about you, Veronica? What do you think? Mm, my best age is my current age because I I have all I have time with my family, with my friends, and Okay, you don't have many worries. Ah, oh, you are single, that's why. Just wait, just wait. <laughs> yes. You will see soon, you will see. Okay, no, thank you, thank you. That's nice, that's nice. Let's see, Magdalena, what about you? What you got? Make it one minute. Okay. Okay, one minute. Okay. Yes, one minute because I want a lot of people here to participate. <laughs> okay, my current age, the four is the four is at the better age. I don't know. <laughs> the best, the best. The best, yes, is the best. The best age. When you have 
energy, you don't have little child, you don't have, uh, I don't know what more. And then you have money and you have time. Oh, really? Change. You have food. <laughs> I'm in my 40s and I don't know about that yet. You don't have. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, continue, continue. <laughs> It's with simple things like uh, you have money to to eat the uh, cream ice cream you have yeah. ice cream take your wife out to to eat with ice cream and you don't have worry for the little child my my little child have the younger have 15 years is, old is is so sorry is <laughs> is 15 years old I don't worry for 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 him. Yeah. And and then this is the be the best the best age for me, in my opinion, is right. It's today. Today is the better. Your, uh, the childhood is right, but I is innocent is right, the pronunciation. Innocent, yeah, innocent. 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 I was innocent, but the young, I was impulsive, is correct? Yeah. Impulsive, and I don't have a work, mm. I don't have a job. And I didn't. Don't have, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't a job. And when I was um, 20s, I, I was just married. It was terrible. <laughs> with the so, past, of, <laughs> yeah, with the past of the years, we are understand better. But you understand? I don't know how to explain that. Yeah, yeah, I got you. I got you. Thank you, Magdalene. Interesting. <laughs> okay, Carla, what do you have, Carla? What's your opinion? Oops, I think Carlos got problems. Let's see, let's see. Yvette, what about you? Okay, teacher. Um, when we were children, uh -huh. and we applied in the in the deer, deer and in in the trees and we have so much energy okay interesting mm -hmm. you were playing you had energy everything was fine okay well you see it was interesting <laughs> because thank you very much everybody was getting a, a different opinion i got childhood i got the 20s i got the 40s i got the well, Veronica is in her 20s, I guess. So it's very interesting, and, and it depends on different points of view. Very interesting class, guys. I really like it, and this class activity was very, very interesting. Let me get the final attendance. I am so sorry. I know that I didn't give the opportunity to participate to all of you, but tomorrow we still got more. We're going to keep on talking about this thing about age, so we'll have the chance to do to talk a little bit more about this. Let me get the final attendance. Carlos Telivaldo Abrego Marmol. Edwin Alberto Rodriguez Lobo. Hmm. Thank you, Carlos. Gabriel Beltran Perez. Present teacher. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Ivan Petrovich Guzman Aquino. I am here. Ivania Chamile Domínguez Hernández. Yvette Lisset Figueroa de Calles. Present teacher. Thank you. Teacher present. Thank you, Yvette. Carla Lisset García Lemos. Thank you, Carla. Luis Antonio Abrego Saraiva. Present teacher. Luis Mario Criollo Guerrero. Present teacher. Magdalena Escalante Orantes. 
present teacher. Can I, can I, yes. can I make a question? Uh, can I ask a question to you in the end of the class? Yes, yeah, sure, no problem. Okay. Mainly Janet Manzano Montoya. Nelson Present. Antonio Rodas. Thank you, Mainly. Present teacher. Present. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Thank you, Nelson. Present teacher. Thank you, Oscar. Rosalina Alvarado. Salvador Alexander López García. Present. Salvador, thank you, Salvador. Salvador Emilio de León Fuentes. Verónica Arelí Achala Ramírez. Present. Wilfredo Areval Ortiz. Xiomara Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. Present. Carlos Josué Chávez. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Hey guys, a pleasure. Please remember today we are supposed to have Phoenix section three from the manual, from the platform. So keep on working. Thank you very much. You. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. God bless you. Bye, guys. Teacher. Yes, Oscar. I think for why to send a, a about topic a, for all class for tomorrow. Oh yeah, you can send it tomorrow, no problem. Okay. The, the homework uh, send you for WhatsApp. Yeah, please. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night. Yeah. Okay, teacher. Uh, my question is. Uh, <laughs> so sorry. Yes. Uh, my question is about the homework. Yes. Okay. I didn't. I didn't send you the homework. Mm -hmm. but yeah, you didn't. I <laughs> I forgot that. <laughs> and then, what is the homework? I have to write a paragraph. I write. Yes, you write I a paragraph know. about the activities you are doing right now. Is I mean, progressive present. Remember, when you talk about progressive tense, cuando hablamos del progressive, uh, we are talking about, also we are talking about ongoing actions. When we talk about ongoing situations, it's not, they are not happening right in this moment. Like, you know, I am reading a very interesting book. Magdalena, I'm not reading it in this moment. But yeah. in this period of time, in this month, I, I am reading a good book. Uh, you know, uh, I am teaching, I am teaching a course every Saturday morning with little kids. Es una acción que estoy realizando continuamente, pero no precisamente en este momento. Uh -huh. eh, I know that you are working in different projects in your church, right? Yes, yes, I'm working. Okay, you see? Pero no en este instante. Uh -huh. <laughs> you yes, got it? Right. Yeah, I get it now. Okay, okay that's, uh, that's the homework. Okay, in this case, I have to write, for example, I am working, I am working in 2023 plans, for example. Yeah, or Estoy budget, yes. Para exactly, that's, that's what I want. Okay, seven line, I understood. Yeah. Remember, it doesn't mean uh, when you write a paragraph and stuff like that, 
estamos viendo un párrafo o cosas así. Recuérdese, no todas las oraciones van a ser representadas por progresivo, porque realmente nadie habla así. When you tell a story, you include, like, we are working in the plans, I am working in the plans uh, for the for next year. We have to prepare many documents. We are discussing who is going to be in charge of what. Uh, some of the assignments are given to people. You see, not all the sentence, not every single sentence is in present progressive. No es que cada oración va a ser en presente progresivo, porque no es así como lo expresamos. It's not a no, list. It's no, no, no. It's a paragraph. Paragraph. Yes, you exactly paragraph. got the idea. Me agarró la idea exacta. No es una lista, es un paragraph. Ok, it was my conclusion. Is it clear <coughs> now for you, my friend? Ahora sí estamos. Ok. You see, cool. <laughs> It's very okay. okay. Excellent, excellent. Magdaleno, a pleasure to have you have here in class. Thank you, teacher. My pleasure is. Okay. Have a good see night, you, teacher. See you tomorrow. God willing. Have a good night. Yeah, God willing. Bye.